Mayor's uh, report and uh, sorry, I haven't got my board open. Um, I will open it. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> Um, and uh, so, uh, just the, 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 the there, are, there are two um, reports that, that make it up. The first report is the, the final monthly report, and it does slip into October, which is next week, which is uh, my final week as mayor. And uh, I have identified in that that I have a number of engagements in my final week. Uh, largely associated with the opening of the Antarctic season, uh, which I think is kind of quite um, uh, significant and important for the reason that being one of five international gateway cities to Antarctica uh, creates a very special place in the world for us as a city, and, uh, and it is an important um, element of our work that we do need to appreciate and understand going forward as well. And it does raise some serious issues too, uh, carbon footprint uh, and, and how we tread lightly in that space will be a big issue going forward. And so there are many, many issues and challenges that lie ahead in that space. So I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity uh, to um, be part of opening the season for one final time. Uh, and um, I'm thrilled that I think that we've got the Minister for Foreign Affairs mm. coming down for the, for the opening itself. So um, that we're just waiting for final confirmation on that. So that's, that's pretty exciting as well. Um, and I uh, don't seem to have my other report. Um, and so, um, no, I don't want that one. Sorry, I'm just looking for the, um, the final. Yeah, and it, well, you can see the, the, the number of um, things that we've been to, uh, but, but I didn't really want to focus on that. I just wanted to note that uh, we've um, provided written feedback to our chief executive uh, and that um, part of the discussions that we had was that I would include uh, reference to our discussions um, in, our, in the final um, report. And um, and we've uh, and I've do I've done that uh, and really just acknowledge that Dawn and the organisation have achieved a tremendous amount in the most challenging of circumstances. So um, and having to deal with business as usual as well as respond to the particular challenges that the year threw up has been acknowledged, I think, by everyone. So thank you very much. You're welcome. So I'd like to um, move that we um, accept my oh and. Just for Yanni's benefit, just to note the Greater Christchurch Partnership Report on Social and Affordable Housing, um, which I know Yanni has really pushed on for some time, and uh, it, it's a good outcome, and there is a real commitment sitting in behind that um, to actually delivering across the Greater Christchurch Partnership. So I wanted to acknowledge that. So I'll move the receipt. Of the, oh, hang on, oh, wait a minute, because I've got the other report, which is attachment two. Yeah. So, and th this serves by way of a final report, and um, and it, it, it's, it means that my valedictory can be shorter than it might otherwise have been. Um, but it focuses on a number of the issues, and um, I won't repeat what I'm going to say in my valedictory, uh, but I think that um, we've, we've, we've been through a huge amount of challenges. The, uh, changes to the district plan, obviously the finances at the beginning. Joining the Resilient Cities Network uh, I think has stood us in really good stead and I do recommend that we stay connected to that network um, into the future. Um, uh, the um, Port Hills fire, I've talked about the Antarctic Gateway. Um, i talked about some of the organisations, Christchurch NZ, uh, I have, you know, sort of opined the frustration that I've had about not being able to get a single joined up de development agency for the city, central government and local government together. And the way that I put it there was that rather than having development Christchurch as we set up to signal to government that we wanted to do things differently, um, and then uh, they set up Otakaro. So they set up Otakaro without discussing that with us. Um, 
The lack of a shared model remains, in my view, one of the great missed opportunities in the recovery. If we'd had a shared model, imagine if it had started off with 75-25 per cent um, Crown Council ownership and then transitioned over time, ultimately ending up being a 100 per cent council controlled organisation. Imagine, imagine the capacity that the city would have had if that had been able to be um, achieved. Uh, Regenerate Christchurch had, a, had an important role to play, but largely focused on the Otakaro Aben River Corridor and the depth and breadth of the work that they've done in that space uh, will play out into the future co-governance um, of that space. Um, and the Otatahi Community Housing Trust, I always said we set that up so that we could get access to the, um, uh, the um, rental subsidy. Um, income related rental subsidy, uh, but actually that's not the reason that I would set it up today. I think it's a very good model mm. to have an um, organisation that's completely devoted uh, to uh, tenants in our social housing um, who are able to partner with the private sector and others um, and bring in those partners to f future developments. Um, the Christchurch Foundation I've, I've named there, these are not all mine, they're, they're just things that have happened in our time. Uh, that came about simply as a result of the, um, the government having a, quite an unrealistic expectation of what philanthropic uh, <coughs> donations would come our way after the earthquakes. Um, and, and it was interesting, they set up the, um, the earthquake fund, uh, the Canterbury Earthquake uh, Recovery um, I'm just trying to remember what it was called, but it was a C8. yeah, C8 advisory. No, oh, anyway, but they had an, they had a they they gathered money um, for the recovery, but there were people that made donations that never got a letter of thank you from the city, because it wasn't a city um, inspired uh, uh, fund. And so the Christchurch Foundation, you know, and I, I've used the example of what happened on March 15. I literally called Amy Carter, the chief executive, at 10 o'clock at night and said, could you? Um, she reached out to people in the banking sector. They, they came to the party. Everyone helped. And finally, we were able to um, deliver um, a, uh, a, a, an account which government trusted as well. So it was a it became the official recipient of donations. Um, the drinking water, that's, that's been, oh, you know, and I've said in here, the rules did keep changing, the bar has kept getting higher, but I believe and will always believe that we did the right thing in owning the decision and not being forced to do it by um, the medical officer of health as it would have been at the time. And I believe that prioritising the programme of works has stood us in good stead for what we still need to do in order to achieve it. I had hoped that we would be able to apply for an exemption in my time as Mayor, but I'm hoping that it will still be before the end of this year that the application uh, will be lodged with Tamata Arawai. Um, and um, of course the, the terrorist attack, I've listed the actual um, Resolution that we passed on that day, I've highlighted a couple of the um, long-term, the two other long-term plans that we were involved in, um, and uh, and I've ended with this uh, this this the fact that our city was listed in the top 100 world's greatest places in Time magazine last year, um, and I just like the way that. They described it. They said, our third annual list of the world's greatest places is a tribute to the people and businesses at the forefront of those industries who, amid extraordinary circumstances, found ways to adapt, build and innovate. It shines a light on ingenuity, creativity, revitalisation and reopenings in destinations across the world. And that's our city. So, so I'd like to move the receipt of my report, seconded by... <laughs> Mike Davidson, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried, thank you. And now, oh, just waiting, <laughs> just one. <laughs> um, 
And uh, so now we'll move on to the valedictories, and I'd like to 